In this video, we're going to look at the problems on pages 13 through 15 of the 9-2 slides. We're going to start off with this problem here. Solve the equation 2x plus 5 equals 3 by graphing the function. So we start by changing this equation into a function. And we're going to do that by first subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation, which gives us 2x plus 2 equals 0. And then we're going to make y the 0. So y equals 2x plus 2. OK, well, we know that's got a, an intercept of, um, sorry, we know that's got a y-intercept of 0, 2. And then we can easily find a few more points that are on that line. And so the line looks something like this. Well, we know that the solution to, this, to the equation is going to be the x value where of the x-intercept, and that is the point negative 1, 0. So, um, so negative 1 is the solution. We try this we, just to make sure we plug it into our equation. 2 times negative 1 plus 5 is negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. So this equation here is true if x is negative 1. Moving on. Other problem we want to look at is this one here. We want to graph the inequality 2x plus y is less than 3. So let's go back to my paper. Here we go. So if we've got 2x plus y is less than 3, we want to start by graphing the equation where um, we replace the less than with an equal sign. So that would be 2x plus y equals 3. And that is the same as y equals 2x, uh, negative 2x plus 3. Um, we could do this a little differently. We could find the, um, you know, we, we could just find our um, intercepts and plot those and draw the line through them. But I find this a little easier. I'm used to working with the slope intercept form. So using this makes sense to me. You don't have to do it this way. But here is our y-intercept, 0, 3. And then I've got a few more points I can put on that line. And then I'll just sketch. Actually, I should be sketching a dashed line, not a solid line. So pretend that the stuff to the left is dashed. That's good enough. All right, so now we want to check points. We want to pick a random point that is not on the line and see whether it solves the equation or not. And a good point to use is 0, 0, the origin. If, you can, if the line doesn't go through the origin, that's a really easy point to use. So if we have 2 times 0 plus 0, that's 0, and that's less than 3. So that makes this true, which means that everything below this line is going to be a solution to that inequality. All right, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, please get in touch.